Hey, 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 back with Chop It Up with Coke. Chop it up with Coco, man. I uh, got a little bit of internet connection, man. Me and Mr. Brad Hunt got uh, disconnected, man. But we were talking about uh, the time where uh, uh, Leon Simmons, a.k.a. Ruff, uh, nobody wanted to take that load on, man. That boy was an absolute beast. So he took it, man, and they collided and did what they had to have done, man. But uh, I wanted to talk about that, man. I just like the fact that the how y'all was. I like the fact that how you and Carl was. And like I said, them the most memorable times in my life. So I want to thank you, boys, for, for that, bringing that to me, man. Uh, at this time, Brad, I want to talk about um, uh, talk about some of the personal people in your life, man, like the, your family right now, man, because this is a platform. Like I said, I want to celebrate y'all, man. That's what this is about. Yeah, I'm, it's a bio on myself, but you can't have no bio with me without you and those guys and what I'm doing. So with that being said, man, please talk about the people in your life now that means so much to you because uh, right now, forever, this is going to always be here. So talk about, celebrate some of them people, man. Here's your platform to talk about some of those people, man, that mean the most to you in your life, man. So no doubt, but let me rewind the tape. I'm going to keep it in Iowa for a second. Go for it, go for it, my bad. You know, when I was in Iowa, man, my son was with me down there. You know, and people, know, I don't know if one's recognized that, but I got to give a shout out to Carl, to Preston, to all these cats, because when I had to go to class, I knocked on Ruff and P door and Preston door and dropped my son off at seven o'clock in the morning. See, that's while they something. watched my son that's real, while man. I went to class. So I like to big up for my son first, Tajay, you know what I'm saying? Because he was a clear motivator in what I had to do. He stood yeah. outside the gate while I was at practice or while we was at games and yeah. watched his dad ball before what he knew football was. Mm -hmm. My motivation and my stance was a little different because I had something to take care of, you know what yeah. I mean? Early. So uh, I want to give a shout out to them cats because without them, I wouldn't even have had the time frame for class, for, for anything, if it wasn't for them. You know what I'm saying? Knocking on rough and P door, and they opened the door, open arms, took son in and let him do what he needed to do until class was over. That's, That's big yeah. right there. That's love. You know what I'm saying? So you can understand why everything that I do is based off the of family family when i'm in there making big pots of chili because everybody yep. don't eat. everybody came you know through what and got y'all everybody yes, came sir. white cats us y'all yes, y'all made sure everybody was good man that's that's how y'all's yes, heart sir. was man y'all made sure everybody you mm -hmm. played you was with us basketball stew everybody come on through man y'all good though that's it that's it and not only will we be on the field like if we were slacking in any way on the field i'm coming to knock on your door yeah. like what's good <laughs> we need to go out to the field right now. We need to get our agenda on. Yeah. We need to do some sprints. We need to do whatever we <laughs> need to do because we're a right. machine out here. We're a machine. And people don't really understand that. You know, if one cog ain't working on that machine, we ain't turning right. You know what I'm saying? So I deal with everything like a machine and a family. Everybody got to move in the direction that they need to move in for us to be successful. Yep. And it didn't take long to get us there because we were no nonsense. Absolutely. No nonsense. Because yes, we will fuck you up and then go make you a sandwich. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Real oh, shit. for real. That's real. You That's what I'm saying. saying? <laughs> that ain't this ain't life ain't got nothing to do with this. We trying Be to get somewhere. Yep. That's it. And that was the mentality I rolled with. And those are the people I really want to give a shout out to. You know, those are my brothers. They'll be my brothers for life. You know what I'm saying? To hold a kid down, go to class, and get on the field and be pure monsters. Yep. You know what I'm saying? I shifted that D line around like, move down, move down, move down. Yeah, Third down, you, if you notice, I would jump down over center and try yeah. to cause a fumble. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I was grabbing that, I was grabbing that hiking elbow on that. Tell you, but that's how I'm gonna fuck. I had to do. But nobody complained. They understood. If you see something, yell it out. If you see, if you if you notice a formation, Recognize. you notice Study. anything, sell it out. Move this, move us down, move us around. And that's what our linebackers had for us. Yeah, man. They'll run up, give us a tap. I made sure they knew every. I shouldn't say I. We made sure the defense knew every line up an O could come up with. You know what I'm saying? For them to run the ball down. They're not running. 
We want to pitch a shutout every game. Oh, y'all That's what so, we wanted. Y'all was so trill, man. That's what we wanted. So a touchdown was disappointing to us. Yeah. A touchdown, somebody scoring a touchdown on us was misery. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that misery brought a fire to us that we couldn't imagine. So I totally agree. to the fam, I give it up, son. All my guys that held me down while I was out there, man. I appreciate y'all. That's why when I ate, y'all ate. You know what I'm saying? That's when when I moved, y'all moved. If anything was happening, that's what we did. Yeah. So I can and, appreciate that. And it wasn't just on the field, it was off the field. And that's one thing that yep. every last one of them said. Yes, sir. If Brad F with you, he riding. I don't on the field, off the field. It don't matter. You wrong, that's he true. wrong with you. And he gonna lay, lay down like, it. hey man, but he riding it no matter what, man. And you just clarified everything that everybody talked about. They talked verbatim what you said, moving the D-line around. And, I, and I, I'm, I'm going to give Coach Rick uh, uh, his props, man. He was a solid coach. Yes, sir. But it was a players ran team, like things like you yeah, did. Us and D-line, talking to him, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? They knew, knocking on the doors. It wasn't no disrespect. It was like, man, you either going to get it right or we're going to put somebody else that's going to get it right because ain't nothing slowing us that's down it. from where we're going and what we're trying to get because, like I said, we was all rejects, whether it's our grades, whether we have the talent, whether we was this, for whatever reason, we was at that junior college for a reason. And we all had the dream to play in the NFL. We all had the dream to play Division One football. So if you're going to get in the way of that, we got a problem. And that's the way it was. So like I that's said, man, each and every one of them guys, man, salute you. Man, they said the exact same things about you. So for you to get on here, man, and clarify how genius you was. People don't really think well, is stupid as hell, nigga. You one of the genius, smartest niggas I've ever seen. You break things down. Mm -hmm. You told me things. And I didn't play defense with y'all, so I could just wonder what y'all was doing. I was just happy to see it. But with that being said, man, you mm -hmm. did all the dirty work, man. And like I said, them guys, man, they love you to death, man. When you hear them talk about you, Brad, man, you're going to see that love they have for you. The same you have for them. Y'all got an unconditional love, man. That that, that Thornton uh, Wildcat, man, y'all had so much love. And y'all brought that love to us. I said this about Carl, and you did the same thing. Y'all changed people and made them have confidence. A lot of cats didn't have confidence in the way they moved, the way they walked, the way they played. Y'all showed them what it was like to be confident, but back it up. Confident, but back it up. And like you said, tapping on the door, it wasn't no disrespect. I remember when Carl, you had that conversation, man, and it was just, it wasn't disrespectful. It was just, y'all was on a mission. And if you can't get them fall in line with the dominoes of what we're trying to do for the team, Slide mm -hmm. over, dog. Watch out. And I remember you yeah, and Carl talked to me a little bit about it was more Carl about, you know, see, I didn't know that Carl played running back. And Carl was the truth as a freshman state champ the whole nine. I didn't know that, man. So a lot of things I didn't know uh, when you talked and then he clarified and talked about it, man, for him to come mm -hmm. and change positions. He was a badass athlete. And real quick before mm -hmm. I get off subject, man, that mm -hmm. secondary, Carl was 6'1", 6'2", 200. <laughs> Carl was 6 feet, 200. Mm -hmm. Kerry Anderson. Man, y'all was official. The line, yes, Calvin Lacey, you man, y'all niggas was so true. I said we would, we would have played COD, man. We'd have gave them boys the business, and I'm not talking crazy. I'm just saying that they was the number one team in the nation for three years. They hadn't lost a game, and I'm telling you now, Harper was the number four defense in the nation that year. Y'all ended that bowl game number two in the nation. I don't know if you knew that. Yes, sir. Number two I in the nation, but my thing is, it started with somebody, and I felt mm -hmm. like that motor how we ran. Like I said, I ain't have much to say. I was just a quiet dude, man. I ain't say much. So for me to open up after all these years, after so long, you think about all the people that really got in your heart. When you click that light off in a dark room, what faces you see? Nigga, I saw your face. Because genuine, you was real as hell. You grabbed a nigga like a little brother, and everybody looked at you, even though we was close in age, you was like the big brother because wasn't nothing popping without mm -hmm. you. You know what I'm saying? So you always yes, not so much protected us, but you ran with it. So like, if somebody had... Something going on, they weren't doing right. You would just let them know what it is. But I remember Carl came in the room, man, when y'all first got down there to ask, he said, man, little man, you going to be able to handle this running back thing? Because I play running back, but I want to play DB really, really bad because that's a new thing for me. And just the looking at it, you know what I'm saying? Being 5'9", five, 5'10", five, about 160, of course, you're going to judge a book box cover. But it wasn't a disrespectful thing. It was just saying, damn, I really don't want to play running back. And they said you was cold, but shit, you little nigga. And that's the mindset he was thinking. But him being mm -hmm. honest and real, and y'all talking with me, and like I said, I had to prove my worth. But after that, man, embracing us the way y'all did, man, lifetime, Brad. Lifetime, man. And that's, so what, like that's, what it, that's what it was, man. Hey, you, we don't have to have questions between us. Let's go to the source. Let's go ask him. He may have some different visions of some shit, too. 
we ain't gonna know until we go ass. Like nobody knew you wanted to play DB. But if you if you don't talk about it, you ain't gonna get there. Let's go talk to that man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And like I told him, if you, and I ain't talking no shit. I said, if I'm on that old line, you know what I'm saying? We gonna get there regardless. You. you know what I'm saying? Got- we gonna work. We gonna work. And it's funny in high school, when my, my brother to this day, he moved from DB to play running back. And he ain't never played running back. Damn, that's he great. never oh. played. And he never played running back. But he had like 1,400, 1,200 yards that year. That's One awesome. year in there. You right. know what I'm saying? Because we gonna get there. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's all that matter. But we're not going to, we're we going to go speak directly to the source. That's yeah. what we're going to do. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? And we're going to sit that. around and chop it up and we're going to go on from there. Yeah. And that's the mentality we got to have as men. Ain't no none of this. We can go, let's go see Coco right now. Yeah. We'll see what he do right now. <laughs> and if anything, he'll get a fire up under him. Now he's going to show you what yeah. time it is as soon as strap that helmet up. Be let's go. Well, that's what I want. You know what I'm saying? You know what's so funny about that, man? Uh, like I said, Carl keep it so wanted, just like you. Y'all, y'all was so mm-hmm. close and so tight, man. Carl was like, man, I'm gonna tell you right now, man. When we left that room, man, you know, after talking with you, like I said, let's get to it. You know what I mean? He said, when I left that room and I asked Brad, Brad was like, that nigga looked at us and said, he's straight, he's gonna be all right. And Brad was like, she yes, gotta sir. take that. When a man look you in the face and say that, you gotta take it and run, and everything else yes, is sir. nerves, man. You know what I mean? That's it. That's it, man. It's like, come on. We ain't got nothing else to say. Go play your part now. Now let's say everybody play our part. We all ain't, we don't know each other, but we family yeah. now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to talk just like family. We're going to move like family. We're going to win like family too. You know what I'm saying? That's what you brought to that team, man. So forever in my heart, man, like I said, ain't no disrespect to nobody. Ain't no knock on nobody. I play with ain't none of that, man. But I seen it. I watched it, I was a part of it, and we was broke, we ain't have nothing, but we had each other, and we had the same vision, and when nobody gonna slow us down, and like I said, that was one of the teams, and again, ain't no disrespect to Coach Hale or Messingham and nobody, but that second year, for sure, it was ran by the players. We had our minds right, and you had to be accountable for your actions, so we weren't gonna let nobody take us off where we was going, because it meant something to us. Because a mindset, we want to go Division One football. We want to play in the NFL. We want to take care of our families. And that was our way to do it. So if you're going to mess with that, you got to watch out, dog. So with that being said, Brad, yes, man, sir. I really appreciate you being how you was. You was a real one, man, from the heart. Everybody that talked about you, they talked about in general things, your mouth, your name came up like that because you meant so much to each and every one of us, man. You know what I mean? So you don't get people like you that come around once in a while, man. So with that being said, man, Lifetime brotherhood, lifetime friends. If you ever need me for anything, man, I'm here for you, dog. Like I said, I hope we can get together, talk more, hope we can all catch up. But like I said, we at that mm-hmm. age now, when we was little, man, we used to see the old uncles and the old cats talking about, man, I was cold at this and I was cold at that. And now we in them shoes. We 40 years old. We them old cats. Yes, but sir. with that being said, man, I couldn't go by with not letting the world know who Brad Hunt was, man. You know what I'm saying? People you yes, played with, people you knew, knew. But I wanted to share it to the world. I got a big platform, and I got a chance to play up in the movies. I did a lot of special things in my life. But after all that, you think about those people who never really got that. Um, and you don't talk about it. You don't talk about nothing. You're just real humble. But I said, I'll be damned if the world ain't going to know about a Brad Hunt, man. Because like I said, that's one that the NFL missed on, man. And I wish things would have been different for you. Whatever happened was your circumstances. Mm-hmm. But Division One yes, football had you written all over it. NFL had you yes, written sir. all over it. So, Either way, I wish that would have happened, but they missed on that. But to me, the best dog defensive lineman, even O lineman that I ever played with, man, you that one, Brad. I appreciate you that, that brother. I appreciate that. And this platform right here, man, this is this is something that needed. And I'm glad you stepped up and put that to the test. But you've been stepping up like this ever since I met you, B. So it ain't no different than your character from this yep. point on. Let's do it again in another 20 yep. years, God damn No, the thing about this now, now, <laughs> now the, the, the true fact that I'm at, I'm going to say it right here. I waited for last, the last, for the, the best for last. I, I lasted with y'all because y'all can't get away from me no more, man. We went so long without, yeah, yeah. we went our own ways. As soon as we talked, it was like we've been best friends since we was kids. Yes, that man. brotherhood you yes, had man. with them boys, that can never be broken in two. But for y'all to let us mm-hmm. in there just a little bit, man, it meant a lot to me. And a lot of them guys that we came in and played with y'all from different walks, y'all embraced us and let us in y'all. You know what I mean? Because there was so many of y'all there. Mm-hmm. But with that being said, man, we're going to continue 
I'm going to have more things. When I get done with all this, we're going to come back and debate like the best uh, uh, D-lineman we ever saw. Them. Michael Jordan, LeBron. Okay. There's so much different things we're going to do now, mm -hmm. but this is the platform. And I think that in my opinion, I'm going to say it here, I think that you and Carl, because Carl got a story. We all got a story. Y'all should think about doing y'all's own bio, man. I can't wait to be a part of it because the world needs to hear about you. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's therapy, mm -hmm. and I know y'all going to tell the truth. And everything that I've been doing, I'm telling it just like it is. Win, lose, or draw. The good with the good. The bad with the bad. So with that being said, man, like I said, Iowa Legends was my most enjoyable time because when I got there, I was free from my life. My life was effed up. If you went and watched the other episodes, man, but I wasn't, I wasn't crying over nothing, man. You know, I couldn't do nothing with the card right. that God had dealt to me. I was going to play him the way he gave it to me, and I just got lucky that God pushed me with some brothers that was just like me, that had the same purpose, and was absolute dogs. Y'all niggas from Harvey, man, shout out to Harvey, Illinois, the Thornton Wildcats, man, because y'all boys was trill, and all of them. Like I said, Pierre, you, Ruff, uh, all of them, man, all of them, man, all your Carl, man, yes, all y'all boys, man, was so cold-blooded with it, and like I said, forever, Iowa Lakes Lakers, it should have been Iowa Lakes Wildcats, but like I said, everybody talked about Brad Hunt, so I'm so glad, man, I was able to get you on this, uh, on this bio man like if people get to see your face everything i talked about you being smooth like rick ross and just a big old fly guy I, you made me a, you made me a truthful guy you know what i mean so with that being yeah, said man i got so much yeah. love for you man stay safe uh we'll always keep in touch but we're gonna get back around some more and do some more things but uh y'all go check this man out man number 58 when you press play on that highlight tape man and i'm shout out to dan Knip for getting that for us because i had a lot of highlights and i didn't have nothing everything was going away so now you get to see this man number 58 Every time you look in the back lane, you see somebody on the quarterback that's big, it's Brad Hunt. Every play in that bowl game, y'all had 12 sacks. Should have had 30. Y'all yeah. had 12 mm -hmm. sacks in that bowl game against Harper. Was two. Harper yes, was the truth. Now, they were yes, surprised. Sir. Nobody <laughs> thought we'd win that game. Nobody thought we'd mm -hmm. win that game, man. And we win I that tell game. you this, this, this is what they said, Coco, when we was having that dinner. And I want to see if you remember this. They said the upstart Lakers. Yeah, playing in this bowl game. And this what this what I said. I said, dinner's over. Everybody, let's get up. We out. Dinner is over. Why? Because we'll see y'all on the field. We'll show you the true definition of what upstart means on that field. And I hope everybody remembers that. You know what I'm saying? I remember some of them guys being counted from the area. And I remember them talking crazy because we talking. was on a, they had a, a predominant team of niggas. We had a predominant team mm -hmm. of white dudes, and they was our white mm -hmm. dudes. We knew they was thorough. We knew they was straight, but they didn't know. Mm -hmm. The problem with that game, they ran into a whole bunch of hungry dog cats that you shouldn't have been. They was talking yes, crazy at that dinner, dog. Yes, and sir. I said, man, I'm, they shouldn't have I can't been. wait. And then the thing is, like in my mind, I'm like, I ain't never played on turf. I'm fat. Oh, that one kills me. But y'all <laughs> were so good, man. Like I said, it couldn't have been me. And Carl said something, I'm going to let you go after this, man. Carl said something that was really funny as hell, and it was so true. So, again, my hat's off to y'all for this right here. He said, man, that, that highlight tape is a little biased, Coco, man. It had all oh, you all over the place. But what he said was, he meant was, the defense was so good, three and out, two yeah, and out. Three and we had the ball yes, on. Y'all gave yes, me the sir. ball, man. So, thank y'all. I think I might have yes, been sir. number three or number four, some in the nation in Russian. But I got the ball, and everybody, Tim Moore was cold. Uh, mm -hmm. Muzz was solid as hell. He did what he had. We had to receive. We had to show. Man, we had, we was so cold. You'll see that. Mm -hmm. But with that being said, y'all gave us the ball so much. And I knew yes, we sir. once or twice. Curtains. Them niggas ain't giving up no first That's downs. It. Yeah, it went games. Mm -hmm. Y'all probably averaged like a less than 10 points, five, seven, eight points. But y'all was so good. But when you watch the highlights, Look on the sideline, on both sides, on the offense. Had y'all all standing up, cheering and helping, and yes, water. When y'all on the field crushing, we damn near getting penalties because we weren't on the field because we were so live. But you said it yes, right. Sir. The boys was talking crazy. No, we weren't mm -hmm. supposed to be there. We playing with house money. We ain't supposed to be here. So guess what? That's yes, sir. Man, most dangerous team. We ain't supposed to be here. Mm -hmm. in nobody. We hadn't beat teams in thirty years. And them Lakers, we mm -hmm. did. I was part of the should, part of that, man. right? I know you' about to wrap it up, but you should have heard them laughing on that first drive, like they ain't nothing. It's on, yeah, they ain't nothing. <laughs> yeah, they got all the way down there, but I said it ain't over. It ain't over. They oh, ain't I in there is. yet. They like ain't in up. there yet. Yes, 
And you know what they should have never did? Don't ever go for it on fourth down. <laughs> not on, not on y'all. You bring a different, you bring a different <laughs> type of beast out of it. That's disrespect, and we don't do disrespect. <laughs> hey, there was so many times, man, when I was watching them highlights and watching them games. You said it so perfectly right. You so honest, dog. You will beat the hell out the lineman with a swim or a bull or anything, double teams, and you'd be just about mm -hmm. to grab the quarterback and then get rid of it. I swear yes, that sir. happened so much. You probably wouldn't let the nation yes, in facts anything. And boom, boom, boom. Yes, I'm sir. like, right there. Step I'm like, away. damn it, dude. Step away. I saw it so much. And like, there was a lot of plays, like you said, on third and short, fourth and short. Man, you move the crowd. You move yes, the sir. crowd every time. And that's yes, just you, you, man. So for, yes, for, for, for me and for all them Laker boys, especially guys on offense, on defense, for the man that did it all, man, Brad, we salute you so much, man. I thank you so much for doing what you did for us because, like I said, you was that real leader of that squad, man. And I don't care what nobody say. I'm sure all these guys feel the same way. So when this bio pop off, I'm putting it out tonight, dog. It's going to be me talking mm -hmm. about y'all. Uh, it's going to be these Zooms right here, uh, getting real live footage of y'all, man, so everybody can see what I was really talking about. And I love the fact that y'all made me truthful because I'm telling the truth. Then they get to see, man, y'all banging people. So like I said, man, I, at the end of the day, mm -hmm. man, I'm so happy uh, about uh, crossing paths with y'all, you, and et cetera. But there was a brotherhood, something we did that can't nobody never take from us, man. We RC Bowler Co champs. Yes, you know what I'm saying? We beat the team nobody thought we would beat. And like I said, I wish we would have played COD. And no disrespect to them boys, shout out to COD. But it would have been a different ball game, and they ain't seen nobody as hungry and dog as us. And that's just my opinion. Yes, and I think anybody on that team uh, begged to differ. So, like I said, you know, the, the, the stats don't lie, man. The stats don't lie. We had the most complete team that year, especially on the defensive side. They always liked to meet the 2000 Ravens because they could nobody could even get a first down on the boards. So when you watch the highlights, yes, man, sir. check out 58, man. He was out there banging. When you see him coming in the backfield, watch me. i never forget it. It was me. When I'm in the backfield, normally I would just calm and chilling because I never gave away. But when you came in the game, nigga, my shoulders got to move and I got to moving around because I knew you was going to blow. Yes, you know what I'm yes, saying? Somebody head off, yes, man. Sir. I just really appreciate that, man. Like I said, you did a lot of the dirty work. You never complained about a damn thing, man. You just did whatever it took for that team to be what it was, man. So, like I said, hats off to you, man. I'm glad. I'm sure all these boys feel the same way, man. And I know they didn't thank you before they told you, man. But from the bottom of my heart, Brad mm -hmm. Hunt, man, I really appreciate it. You one of the best to ever do it. If not the best, I think you're the best from my eyes. But everybody got their opinion, and they can go and kiss them. You know what I'm saying? But to yeah, me, yeah. you was the realest. You was the best one at that position, man. I'm going to forever remember you, man. So, lifetime brotherhood. And like I said, let's stay in touch now. Now I got y'all. We all together. Ain't no more going nowhere. Ain't going to be 20 years from now, man. We're going to be straight now, though. Yes, sir, B. Salute you, man. Appreciate you doing this. Take care of your family, man. We'll be talking soon. Thank you, Brad. Yes, sir. Have a good one, man.